The planned fixed link between Denmark and Germany will be an immersed tunnel for both cars and trains. This animation shows how the tunnel will be built. The majority of the tunnel elements will be produced in a factory east of Rotbuhaun. The factory's facilities include production halls, docks and a working harbour. The halls, where the reinforcing modules will be prepared, are marked in red. The factory will also have eight production lines for casting the concrete elements. Production will take place in a continuous process in which nine identical segments will be joined together to create a complete element. The finished tunnel element will be pushed in a dry dock and prepared for transport. Each element will be 217 meters long and will weigh over 70,000 tons. The tunnel will contain two railway tracks and two tubes, each with a two-lane motorway and an emergency lane. A service and emergency corridor will be located between the motorway tubes. To prepare transport, watertight bulkheads are mounted and the dry dock is filled with water until the element floats. After this, the dock gates are closed and seawater is pumped into the basin. Now the floating tunnel element will be towed to the deep section of the basin. The water level in the basin is then lowered to match the level of the harbour. The dock gates are opened and the element can be towed out. The element is tugged to a holding area near the location where it will be immersed. It will then be immersed in a trench that has been excavated in advance while the element was being constructed. Dredging will be carried out by specialised dredgers to ensure a precise and smooth base in the tunnel trench. Dredging methods have been selected to minimize sediment spill and limit the impact on the surroundings and the environment. The dredged material will be transported on barges to designated landfill areas along the coast, primarily on the Danish side. In the holding area near the trench, the tunnel element will be hooked up to floating pontoons then the element will be towed to its immersion site. When the element is positioned directly above the area where it is to be immersed, it will be held in position by cables attached to temporary anchors in the seabed. The tunnel element is now ready to be lowered onto a gravel bed foundation that has previously been laid in the tunnel trench. Ballast tanks that have been fitted to the element are gradually filled with water to sink it. As the element slowly sinks, its movements are controlled by mooring wires. The new tunnel element is connected to the prior element. Next, water is pumped out between the bulkheads and the water pressure on the opposite free end of the element will force the elements closer together creating a watertight seal. The trench on both sides of the element is now backfilled with a layer of gravel to keep it in position. Then a layer of sand and a protective layer of stones are placed on top. Finally, the seabed is restored. The fixed link across the Fiman belt is expected to be finished in 2020. With its 17.6 kilometers, it will be the world's longest immersed combined road and train tunnel.